Hello, everyone. Welcome to our five minutes practical programming tools. For this video, we will discuss CMake, and we will show you why to use CMake and the main concepts of CMake and the typical workflow of using CMake. So, why to use CMake? Basically, CMake is a tool to generate the make file automatically and manage the process of compiling, building, and linking our project. And th the most important reason is that CMake is an industry standard, basically. So other people use CMake. If you want to use the, pro the code from other people or from other library, it is uh, straightforward or easy to do it by using CMake to build our system. And there are some other industry standard. One is this uh, Auto Tools, which is a little bit uh, traditional building system. Another is this Bezel. Uh, the TensorFlow in Google uses this Bezel system. And uh, when we use those building system, we could build our project easily and decrease the probability of making errors, and which could save much more time for our programming. And some, and some building tools also provide the cross-platform cross compiling, which is convenient. So there are some main concepts of CMake. It is uh, target-based. What is target? Target is an uh, executable or library in CMake. We will show this concept in the sample in the example, and we could put our say make lists in multiple directories and to construct a layer structure. And another is a concept of module. We could provide different module by the help of the say make. And when we want to add a specific module, it is easily to do. For this sim sample example, I have a project called Basic. In this Basic project, it includes a main C++, C++ file, and in this file, it will call the calculate SQRT function. It is here. Obviously, I could use make file to compile this project, and I will build the SQRT file into an object file and link it to the main file. Just to execute me. Just to execute oh make sorry. And there is my executable. And if I use CMake, I will provide a CMake lists here and I will show you how to use this CMake list. When we use CMake, it is better to generate another directory for building. In this way, we will not put our original source directory. For example, here I just need to act, execute CMake dot dot basic. And CMake will do some checking operation here, just like compiler with what is your environment, and then the CMake will generate some files here. In this CMake catch, it will store some environment variable. And when we build it next time, we don't need to input those variables. And there is a make file. It is generated automatically by CMake. We could execute make directly, and this is my executable. Let's dive into details for the CMake list. The CMake minimum required means we will use the version 3.2 to build this project. The name of project is tutorial. Add library means we want to build this uh, SQRT file into a library and then uh, this library will be added here. Add this library into link it into our executable. 
So there are two tasks here, target here. If we see this build history, there are two target. Another thing is that this include directory. For here, we need this test.h. If we use the relative path, and we do say make, make again. Say so here, this file could not be found because we use relative path. So in that way, we need to modify our say make lists and include directory, include util directory into this target. And when we build it again, the file could cannot uh, can be found. That's it for our demo. And we also have several source references here. For this one, it is a tutorial for CMake. This one is a really good article about the best practice for CMake. This one is a YouTube video which provides more details for CMake. And for here, for this link, if you check this part, when we add include directory, we provide a keyword called public. And this link, this link provide, provides more details for that keyword and hope you start to use CMake and see you later for the following videos.